What's going on guys? Today we are going to upgrade our beacon to an Aero LED sun beacon. What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Hey, I've been uh, want to do this upgrade for a little while now and uh, I've actually purchased this light just at, shortly after Oshkosh and it's March now so it's about time for me to get this thing put on. I've been doing a lot of upgrades to the plane and I really like aero LED lights so I wanted to upgrade my tail beacon to their Sun Beacon 2. I got it. this one in the, the red. They have it in a white. I chose to go with red. Let's see what we got in the box here. It's a good packaging that it comes with. You open it up. It's got nice styrofoam uh, packaging inside to hold the light. There's the, the top of the light and some more packaging there. And here's what we got. Here's our beacon. It's a nice small beacon. I'll show you compared to the, the other one here in a second. It has red wire, a black wire, and a green wire. The red wire is for your power, your black wire is for your ground, and your green wire is to sync it if you want to sync it to another light. With that, and the rest of the package here, we have some nice connectors, wiring connectors that you can uh, wire up to the lights and it Makes everything waterproof. That's a nice connector. We have our documentation for the uh, mechanic to approve and sign off on everything and put it in the log books. We also have product registration form that shows you how to go online and, and register your light and some more uh, registration paperwork. Now, this light, if we come back here, this thing, this thing is big, it's tall, it's my uh, empanage has got the bigger bulb there to uh, attach that strobe there. And this thing is literally the size of the base on the old light. Now, with that being said, I didn't like the uh, the empanage cap up here. So I purchased a new cap to put on top of it. So that way when I mount the light, everything's small and compact. And it gets rid of that big bulge on your cap there. So you can see the the size difference in the two. And I'm telling you what, I've seen these lights up at Oshkosh and they are bright. I mean, they're probably, I would say probably twice as the brightness of the original one. But we'll go ahead and start taking this thing apart and get the new one put up there. Hey guys. There was a couple things I forgot to mention when I was doing this video. 
And one of them is you got to buy the mount kit to go along with your light. Now, they make two different styles, a 3.75 cup style that fills that bigger hole on the old empennage cap, and also a uh, flush mount style that is for the second cap that I bought. And the second thing I didn't mention was at this year's annual, I did an extensive upgrade on this plane. I did a lot of avionics upgrades, and one of the things I did do was I pulled brand new wiring throughout the whole plane. So I had already made provisions to install this light and a couple other things for the future, and I made the quick connection and everything already into the harness. All right, now that I have everything all ready to go, all you gotta do is take these tabs here and line it up with the tabs in the base and you just stick it on give it a twist and it snaps in place and you take a allen wrench and you tighten up the set screw in the back All right, there's the, the light installed on the cap. And you can see quite a bit of difference. And this thing weighs a lot more than this. And you can see that it just, it, this is a nice looking light. So let's go ahead and get it installed and try it out. Ben's already pre-wired this harness with the thought of putting this light on. All I had to do was just put my connector on the wires that come out of the light and just snap everything in place. This thing was a breeze to put in. It would, all in all, it probably only took me maybe 30 minutes at the most to put, install this light. Tell you what, that thing is bright. Look how bright this is lights up the whole freaking hangar. That's the best money I ever spent. Right there, That's that thing is bright. I thought I'd show a before and after set of videos, but it's hard to catch the flash of the old one because it's so fast compared to the new one. It just stays on so much longer. To me, I think that makes it more visible. Unfortunately, cameras don't do some things justice. And just take my word for it, this light is bright. Okay guys, that's gonna finish it up for now. I do have a couple more things I wanna get upgraded on this in the future. Uh, maybe a landing light. We'll have to see what comes. We'll talk to you guys later. And like I said, if you guys want a bright tail beacon, your LED is the way to go. We'll talk to you guys later.